Hey, Bolo Buddies, thanks for watching. Okay, I have a big money Bolo video for you guys. 21 coming your way. These are items that I've picked up at thrift stores, garage sales, state sales, Facebook Marketplace, anywhere I can find a deal. And I'm going to tell you where I got it, what I paid for it, and what it sold for. And these items sold for $35 or more. And actually, in this video, I have a big money bolo that my husband sold. So he is a bolo finder. And I'm telling you, if he could do this full time, I would have videos upon videos of his solds because he's pretty amazing. Um, he, he's got a really great eye. So um, I can't wait until someday when he retires and we get to go out and source together. So um, definitely will be fun. All right, let's get started here. I am going to share with you the first bolo item. Screen share is up. Okay, now this one may surprise you. How to train your dragon. Um, be wild, wilder beast, I think is how you say it. Bewilder beast, maybe it's bewilder beast. What do you guys think? Put in the comments, what, be wilder beast or bewilder beast? <laughs> I have no clue. Um, anyway, it's from 2014 and it does work. So you grab it by, let me see if I can get a picture. Um, hmm. It's got like a, like a handle area. I don't have a very good picture of it, but you grab it kind of like this and it, it has a lever and its head moves and it makes sounds. I ended up selling this for $76 and 49 cents and the buyer paid the shipping. I picked this up at a garage sale. I think it was two or three dollars The next item is what my husband sold. So um, He got this at a garage sale if I remember correctly I think he only paid a couple bucks for it and it's got the original box It's not in great condition the box, but it's got the transformer and it had the original sticker sheet um, cause they messaged me and they're like, are the stickers original? And my husband's like, I think, I mean, how often do you have like the vintage box and everything and the stickers are like fake? I don't know. So we're like, yeah, as far as we know, the stickers are original. So he had it listed for $174.99. They made him an offer of a hundred dollars. He had a couple bucks in it. So he went ahead and accepted that offer. So definitely a very cool find. Um, I remember the day he told me about this garage sale and I went and I tried to find it because I love toys. And he's like, I bought all the good stuff. I'm like, I don't care. I want to go look. And I could not find it. <laughs> so no luck. But he bought a bunch of plush, which is still sitting upstairs. Um, I need to go through it. But he got a bunch of vintage plush. And I think I want to say it was all free. So I was like, free? That is the garage sale for me. Where is it? But I couldn't find it. Uh, the next item, I sold this one and I picked this up in a box of transformers that I picked up. So I don't have much in it, maybe a buck or two. And I sold this for $50 and the buyer paid the shipping. So this is a jet fire um, com cometer, com I don't, cometor, cometor, giga, <laughs> giga, I don't know, cons, armanda, or, or, armada, transformer. Man, I messed up about every word in that title. Sorry, guys. It's a vintage transformer. Um, sold it for $50. And it does have the uh, additional little uh, vehicle to the side here that I uh, found out went with it. And I was able to dig it out of the box and sell them together. So I'm sure that helped. Uh, the hard part was getting this thing so that I could ship it so that it wasn't getting beat around in the box and making sounds during shipment. And I did figure it out. So it ended up working out just fine. The next item I picked up at a garage sale, I ended up selling these for $45 best offer and the buyer paid shipping. I think I paid three or four bucks a piece for these. Um, I, I don't know. I, I thought they were going to do better than they did. Uh, there were some good comps, but it was a long tail item. So I guess if you can get them cheap, I would say go for it, but um, don't overpay for them. So yeah, I mean, I definitely made money, but I sat on them a long time. I think I have another one left. 
The next item I sold is this vintage hip yik from 1984. And it did have like a musky odor. So I just disclosed that. I ended up taking a best offer of $40 for this and the buyer paid shipping. I picked this up at a garage sale for $2. The next item I sold is this Bratz Yasmin's Room bedroom uh, playset type deal. And it's got the Bratz doll Yasmin, I guess is her name. I think I'm saying that right. And I picked this up at a garage sale for $3. I went to a garage sale and they had a whole bunch of new old stock items. Again, I said, how much do you want for all of it? We made a deal and I had about three bucks in this. Uh, the buyer paid the shipping and I took a best offer of $70. The next item I sold are these Mega Blocks John Deere replacement blocks with the minifigures. This came from a huge lot of Mega Blocks that I picked up at a garage sale. The John Deere were um, bagged separately and I was able to pull some of these bigger pieces just out of the um, tote. And I was like, well, I'll just lot them up. I have no idea if anything is complete. So I'm just gonna sell them as replacement parts. And I probably had about three bucks in this and I sold it for a best offer of $50, the buyer paid shipping. The next item I sold is from a, you know what? This came from that same garage sale. I had two big um, hauls of brand new items this summer, but this one did come from the same place as the Bratz. So I paid about $3 for this and I sold her for $69.69 and the buyer paid shipping. She is Barbie Basics from 2010. She's a black label model muse number five. Um, denim, Asian, hard to find, new. Um, that was my title. And yeah, nice little bolo there. So the black label, um, let's see, I think it says it right down there at the bottom. And this is what she looks up, uh, looks like close up. So definitely be on the lookout for that one. She's a bolo. The next item I sold is this Harry Potter watch. I picked this up at a thrift store for $2 and I took a best offer of 40. The buyer paid the shipping. My husband, I believe put a new battery in that for me and we made sure that it would light up and did what it was supposed to do. And it sure did. The next item I sold is this vintage black and Decker space maker. I actually auctioned this. I think it sold for $39 and the buyer didn't pay, which was good for me because I relisted it at $65. Buy it now, put it on sale for $55.25, a 15% off sale. Somebody bought it for full asking price, buyer paid shipping. And I picked that up at a garage sale for $4. The next item came out of a huge toy mystery box that I picked up at a thrift store. It had tons of Barbies in it. I had no idea who this was. I ended up figuring out that she has this little baby and it fits inside this belly, which is magnetic and sticks onto her. Let me see if I can find, I think I, um, okay, so the baby goes inside and then it goes onto the Barbie. It's magnetic. How cool is that? No clue, never seen it before in my life. Looked up comps and was pleasantly surprised. I ended up taking a best offer of $90 for this and the buyer paid shipping. And um, yeah, she has on no clothes. It's funny because I was watching Primetime Treasure Hunters video the other day and he was showing some Barbies and there was a naked Barbie and he's like, oh, and he got like all embarrassed. And I'm like, this, this would probably embarrass him. <laughs> But she didn't have any clothes. Like, what am I supposed to do? I can't dress her. She, I don't have any clothes. All right. The next item I sold is this Bionicle, a Lego Bionicle. And I sold this for $55.24. The buyer paid the shipping. This came in a huge box of Bionicles that I purchased. The next item I sold are these Ugg shoes. I picked these up at a garage sale for $6. I was going to keep them for myself. Um, but I really just... I don't like this style of shoe. It's like a winter shoe, but they look silly with socks. And I'm like, I'm never going to wear these. So I decided to sell them. I sold these for $40 and the buyer paid shipping. The next item I sold is this guest watch. I cannot remember where I got this. Um, I don't know if it was at the thrift store or if it was at a garage sale, but I sold it for $40 and the buyer paid shipping. And typically I pay probably a dollar maybe two for things like this. The next item I sold is this vintage Ellsworth AFB snapback trucker hat. It's got the three stripes on the side. Now, 
one of these sold for like three hundred and sixty dollars. Um, I looked it up and I was so excited. But the one that sold was in like mint condition, and as you can see, mine is not. Um, and the foam right here you can see is deteriorating and it was just, it wasn't in great shape. So I had it up for auction and I think it sold two or three times and nobody paid. So I finally just did another auction and somebody offered me 70 and I went ahead and took it. I paid $2 for this at an estate sale. So um, I put the bill has been rounded and it is not flat as seen. Um, I said, I did not attempt to shape it, like, you know, like bend it because I was afraid like it could break. So I just disclosed all of that. Um, it was, it was in rough shape. So $70 was great. The next item I sold is this brass key 2007 Disney princess, snow white porcelain doll. I got her at a garage sale for $2 and I sold her for $68 plus shipping. The next item I sold are these transformer rescue bots, dino bots. I had no clue what these were. This was a Facebook marketplace find. Um, I was actually buying something else and I'm like, what else do you have? And I'm like, what's your bundle price? Um, kind of did what I do at garage sales and it ended up working out. I probably had about $5 in this and I took a best, nope, I'm sorry. I sold that for full asking price of $63 and 75 cents in the buyer paid shipping. The next item came out of my bulk buy. I bought it on eBay to sell on eBay. It's a mythos, I think is how you pronounce it. It This is what it came on. And it's like a wolf brooch pin. It doesn't really look like a wolf, but it said wolf on the back. So that's what I put. Um, I had this at auction and somebody came in and offered me $40 because I had auction or best offer. And I went ahead and took that offer. I probably have 10, 15 cents in this. So $40 buyer paid shipping, and I believe this went internationally. The next item I sold is this reindeer, and it's kind of got that flocked fur to it. Um, I did not test it, so I just put untested. It had a battery compartment, but I didn't have the right battery. So I'm not even really sure what it does, but I picked this up at a garage sale, and I had about probably a dollar or two in it. And I took a best offer of $38 and the buyer paid shipping. Anytime you can find um, from the reindeer and the snowman, I can't think of what that movie's called. Um, anytime you can find those characters, definitely pick them up. I have done really, really well with those. So the next item that sold is one of my favorite sales. I love this sale. Okay, so I picked this up at a garage sale. I think it was $2. It's a vintage artisan made ring doll face with a crown kind of got that goth costume statement look to it and it's adjustable and it's one of a kind. And I definitely want to hear your opinion of this ring down in the comments. I was like, I'm totally listing this high. Like this is going to be a bolo. I'm going to wait for the right buyer. And I did. And somebody offered me $90 and I went, went to head and took that. So they paid the shipping and it was off to its new home. So definitely a fun, big statement piece. So $90 plus shipping. The next item I sold are these snowmen. They're LED color changing lights. Um, I did not take it out of the box because it was new. So I just left it in there and showed the pictures of the box and that seemed to be enough. And this sold for $55.24, the buyer paid shipping, and that came out of a mystery box. So that concludes my Big Money Bolo video, uh, 21 of them. Please leave me a comment down below, hit that thumbs up, and there's going to be some other videos popping up, so check out one of those. And if you're not subscribed, there should be a little picture of me right here. If you click on that, that will take you to the subscribe area. All right, you guys, thanks for watching, and I'll see you at the next video.